so this is the more one of the most common topic that what kind of what kind of water we used to put in the batteries for traditional lead acid batteries we are commonly used in the vehicles and backup power system uh, typically we are using the distilled water we are using the distilled water distilled water is purified through a process that removes materials impurities and contaminants making it suitable for the use in the batteries using distilled water helps prevent mineral uh, build up and extends the life span of the battery by reducing the risk of the short circuits and the other issues when adding water to the lead acid battery it is important to fill the battery cells to the appropriate level as indicated by the manufacturer's guidelines overfilling or underfilling the cells can impact the battery's performance and longevity it is worth noting that not all the types of batteries require water many modern sealed lead acid batteries commonly known as the maintenance free or valve regulated lead acid that is called the vrla batteries valve regulated lead acid batteries are designed in a way that prevents the need of the water addition these batteries use a recombination process that reduces the water loss so they generally do not require regular water maintenance for other type of batteries such as the lithium ion batteries commonly used in the portable electronics electric vehicles and renewable energy storage system you don't need to add water these batteries are designed as sealed unit and have different uh, chemistries that do not involve adding water to the cells already have discussed that for for the most common bat common type of batteries we should not need put water directly into the battery as a way to replenish its electrolyte batteries require a specific type of electrolyte solution that is tailored to the chemistry of the battery using the wrong type of the electrolyte can damage the batteries and potentially be hazardous different types of batteries used in the different types of electrolyte first one that is the lead acid batteries lead acid batteries these are commonly used in vehicles and on interrupted power supply that is called the ups system they use a diluted sulfuric acid solution as the electrolyte if the electrolyte level in the lead acid battery is low we should add distilled water to bring it a recommended le level distilled water is used because it does not contain impurities that could affect the battery's performance next one is the lithium ion battery lithium ion batteries these are found in many consumer electronics electric vehicles and many more lithium ion batteries use a lithium salt dissolved in a solvent as the electrolyte you should never open a lithium ion battery and attempt to add the electrolyte and as this can be extremely dangerous due to heat due to the high reactivity of the lithium with air and moisture next one is the nickel cadmium batteries Nic uh, nickel cadmium batteries these were once common in portable electrolyte electronics but are also prevalent now due to the environmental concerns about cadmium cadmium they they use a potassium hydroxide solution as electrolyte 
Similar to the lithium ion batteries, we should not open these batteries to add the electrolyte. Next one is the nickel metal hydride batteries. Nickel metal uh, hydride batteries. Hydride batteries. These are used in some electronics and rechargeable devices. They use a potassium hydroxide solution or a solution or a sodium hydroxide solution as electrolyte. As with other non-serviceable batteries, it is recommended to attempt the open and electrolyte add electrolyte to the batteries to these batteries. In general, if we notice that a battery's electrolyte level is low. It is best to follow the manufacturer's guidelines for the maintenance or replacement. For lead acid batteries, adding distilled water is acceptable. But for other types of batteries, attempting to add electrolyte yourself can be dangerous and may damage the batteries further. If we suspect a problem with our battery, it is usually safer to consult the manufacturer or a professional for the guidance.